Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Dwebin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the DM Verity device corrupted error on any OnePlus phone. So as you could see, there is quite a lengthy error prompt, but you will have to focus on this line DM Verity device corrupted. So we will, we will have to fix this issue and hopefully the underlying error message will also be rectified and then you could boot our phone to the OS. So for that, first and foremost, you have to download and extract the Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. I will link my guide. So get it and then extract them anywhere on your PC. These are the files of platform tools. Once that is done, you will now have to download the fastboot ROM for your phone. This is the most important part. The fastboot ROM should be of the same firmware version that is currently installed onto your phone. Now this is quite a challenging task. You will not be able to verify the current ROM version which is installed onto your phone but still if there's any way possible I'll highly recommend to first verify which ROM was installed onto your phone and only download the same firmware or the ROM version however if you cannot perform this check then at least download the latest firmware don't download an older build always if you cannot get hold of the same firmware then get hold of the latest firmware and once you have got the ROM for your phone, in my case, I already know the firmware and the ROM version. So I have got the ROM file. Once you have got the ROM file for your OnePlus phone, it will be in a payload.bin file. So you will now have to extract this bin file. For that, download the fastboot enhanced tool from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. You could see here are the files of fastboot enhanced tool. And now you have to copy the payload bin file from the firmware and paste it inside the fastboot enhanced folder as you could see this is the file once that is done let's now launch the fastboot enhanced tool via the exe file go to payload dumper hit the browse button now choose the payload bin file and click on open it will now load the file go to the partition tab and now you have to select vb meta file so let me just verify whether it's there or not it should be there so this is the file select it and click on extract image if you get an prompt so simply check mark allow incremental and click on extract image choose a location let's say desktop as of now and it will now extract the file once that is done you, you should get the file on your desktop so this is the vbb meta img file now transfer this file to the platform tools folder on your pc so this is the platform tools folder let me transfer it here so with this we have got the file and now your next course of action is to flash the file onto your phone for that you will have to boot your phone to fast boot mode so in case of oneplus you will have to press and hold the power and volume down keys so press and hold both these keys until your phone boot into the fast boot mode once that happen you may then let go of both these keys so you will have to press for around 8 to 10 seconds so let's press and hold both these keys and your phone should ultimately boot into the fast boot mode as soon as that happens let go of the keys and as you could see we are now in the fast boot mode okay one more thing while it's along the obvious line but the bootloader on your phone should be unlocked if it's currently locked then the process will fail and moreover although you might unlock the bootloader using the fast boot flashing unlock command but for that you will have to enable oem unlocking which you might not be able to do so because you cannot access the os so if the bootloader is currently logged and you have oem unlock toggle off as well then in that case this process will not work on the other hand if you have already enabled oem unlocking toggle then you could simply use the fastboot flashing unlock to unlock the bootloader and then get this job done so with this we are now in the fastboot mode let's first verify if our pc is able to read the phone in this mode or not so go to platform tool folder type in cmd in the address bar and hit enter this will launch command prompt inside platform tools now type in fastboot devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial id if you are not getting any id then you will have to install fastboot drivers i have made a separate guide on the same as well just a minute i have a guide you could refer to my guide and get that job done so this is the guide i also have a video on the same so refer to this guide install the drivers once you have installed the drivers right click on the windows icon and select device manager then expand the android phone section and make sure your phone is being shown at android bootloader interface so this as well as the serial id next to fastboot signifies that the pc is able to read the phone in fastboot mode and we are now good to go ahead so now you will have to disable the dm verity 
and flash the VB meta file. For that, there are three commands. You could use any of these three commands. So first off, let's try with the first command itself. So simply copy this command and paste it in the CMD window and hit enter. And with this, the process stands complete. And you will now reboot your phone to the OS and check out the result. So let me type in fastboot reboot and see if it's work or not. So it will take only a few seconds and then we could verify the same. If our phone has been fixed, then it should now boot to the OS. On the other hand, it will reboot back to the error message. And as of now, it's booting back to the fastboot mode. So it means it's not able to access the OS. Let me try it once again. So it's currently unable to access the OS as of now as I could see. So if that is the case with your phone as well, then let's move ahead with the next steps to rectify this issue. So next up, the second major concern why this could happen is because of the boot partition getting corrupted. So let's now move ahead and flash the stock boot image file. Again, go to the fastboot enhance folder, launch the fastboot enhance tool, click on browse and upload the payload bin file. Then go to the partition tab and this time select the boot img file just a minute let me see where it is this is the boot img file select it click on extract image and let's now select the desktop location once again and it will now extract the boot img file once that is done let's now move the file to the platform tool folder so just a minute, this is the boot IMG file which you have just got. Let me verify the same. So it's the boot IMG file. So let's now transfer it to the platform tool folder. And now let's flash it onto our phone. So type in fastboot, flash boot and the name of the file which is boot.img and hit enter. It will now flash the boot IMG file onto your phone and will take only a few seconds for that to happen. So let's just wait for a few more seconds. And with this, the flashing is now complete and we could now verify the result. So type in fastboot reboot and let's check out the result if our phone boots to the OS or not this time around. If your phone still does not boot to the OS, then we have just one more fix left. So as you could see, my phone is again booting to the fastboot mode. So let's try changing the slots. So this is the command fastboot set active other. Simply paste the command here in the CMD window and hit enter. The slot has been changed. Let's now try doing a reboot and see if our phone boots to the OS or not. If our phone still does not boot to the OS. So let me see the re result this time around and see what happens. This might take a while. So again, okay, so this time around, I could not boot to the OS. So in my case, the issue was with the corrupt current partition, the inactive slot was working well and good. The current active slot was corrupted. So I was not able to boot to the OS. So the three fixes which I have shown is first and foremost, you have to flash the VB meta and disable the verification process. After that, try doing a boot up. If that does not work, you may also try flashing the stock boot IMG file and again try doing a boot up. If you are again having any issue, then try changing the slot and again try doing a boot up. Or rather, I will recommend you that after booting your phone to the fast boot mode, start with this fix only because it's the shortest and the easiest fix. So start with this fix and if it does not work, then try out the other fixes. However, even after this, if your phone is currently not working and if it's stuck in the fast boot mode, then your next co co course of action is to flash the OnePlus fast boot ROM. Just a minute, I will explain you that as well. Although I made a separate video on the same, but in short, let me show you that as well. <coughs> so this is my guide. So if your phone is still currently stuck in the fast boot mode, then you will have to download the fast boot ROM from here. It's for the latest, as you could see, some are for the Android 9, 10, Android 11, 12, all the versions are there. Simply get hold of the ROM file and extract them onto your PC. 
अपॉन एक्सट्रैक्शन यू विल गेट अ फाइल नेम एज फ्लैश ऑल डॉट बैच फाइल और अपडेट डॉट बैच जस्ट देर शुड बी अ बैच फाइल सिंपली डबल क्लिक टू लॉन्च दैट बैच फाइल एंड द फ्लैशिंग विल नॉट स्टार्ट एंड वंस द फ्लैशिंग इज डन आई विल रिकमेंड यू टू फ्लैश द फॉर्मवेयर एज वेल एंड आफ्टर दैट यूर फोन विल देन रिबूट टू द ओ एस सो फ्लैशिंग द फास्टबुट रॉम विल ऑलवेज रेक्टिफाई द इशू देर इज नो डाउट इन दैट सिंपली गेट होल्ड ऑफ द फास्टबुट रॉम फ्रॉम हियर एंड देन इन साइड दैट एक्सट्रैक्टिंग ऑन टू यू पी सी यू विल गेट अ बैच फाइल डबल क्लिक टू लॉन्च दैट बैच फाइल एंड वेट फॉर द फ्लैशिंग टू कंप्लीट वंस द फ्लैशिंग इज कंप्लीट आई विल ऑल्सो रिकमेंड यू टू फ्लैश द फॉर्मवेयर एंड विद दिस यूर फोन विल देन बोट इन टू द ओ एस हाउ एवर इफ स्टिल यू आर फेसिंग एनी इशूज एंड यू आर स्टिल नॉट एबल टू बोट टू द ओ एस और एंड यू आर स्टिल स्टक इन द फास्टबुट मोड देन पावर ऑफ यूर फोन एंड देन आफ्टर दैट यू विल हैव टू यूज द एम एस एम टूल टू गेट दिस जॉब डन अगेन आई हैव मेड अ सिपरेट गाइड ऑन द एम एस एम टूल एज वेल यू कूड रेफर टू माई गाइड एंड गेट दैट जॉब डन इन एम एस एम टूल यू विल हैव टू बोट यूर फोन टू दीडीएल मोड सो फ्रॉम द फास्टबुट मोड यू विल फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट हैव टू बोट यूर फोन टू ईडीएल मोड बाई यूजिंग द हार्डवेयर कॉम्बिनेशन लेट मी शो यू फर्स्ट ऑफ गेट होल्ड ऑफ द एम एस एम टूल फ्रॉम हियर and after that you will have to follow my instruction which are given from here so disable driver signature enforcement on your pc then restart your pc then install the drivers onto your pc after that boot your phone to edl mode for that power off your phone from the passboot mode and then press and hold the volume up and volume down keys and while holding both this key connect your phone to the pc via usb cable your phone will then be shown as qualcomm hs usb loader and after that you must simply launch the msm tool and start the flashing process using the msm tool the issue will be rectified in around i guess 10 to 15 minutes but always use this as a last ditch effort if nothing else works out so i am again repeating if you're currently on a verity corrupt error message use the power and volume down keys to boot your phone to fast boot mode and then try flashing the vb meta by doing a disable of verity and then see if your phone boots up or not next up try flashing the boot image file and see if your phone boots up or not likewise you may also try changing the slot and setting the other inactive slot as the active one and then do a reboot and verify the result if still it's not working then you will have to flash the passboot rom it will take up to around 5 to 10 minutes simply extract the passboot rom and flash it via the batch file and if even then your phone is not able to boot to the os then as a last ditch effort you will have to flash the ops firmware using the msm download tool from the fast boot mode power of your phone then boot your phone to edl mode and install the edl drivers as well and then simply flash the firmware using the msm tool and with this your phone will then boot to the os i have made a video on all these steps as well for instance this is the flashing of the fast boot rom I have made a video on the Facebook ROM as well. You could refer to my video on my channel. Likewise, there is a video on the MSM tool as well. Let me show you. This is the video which is applicable across all the OnePlus phone. So refer to these steps, and it will surely fix the issue. But if you still have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And guys, thanks a lot for watching.